the member for Flinders. Thank you, sir. My question is to the Minister for Education. Can the Minister update the House on how the Marshall Liberal Government is backing South Australian businesses through the preschool maintenance program? The Minister for Education. I thank the member for the question. The member for Flinders uh, knows, as do indeed uh, members on this side of the House, that the government is very, very committed uh, to seeing both uh, enhanced uh, job opportunities for South Australians and also a contribution towards that generational lift of educational facilities across our state as a result of the Marshall Liberal Government's investment in school and preschool infrastructure and maintenance projects. So last year, uh, as everybody knows, we were confronted by an extraordinary set of circumstances which had an immense impact uh, on the employment opportunities uh, for people across the world and here in Australia, uh, and indeed uh, the government had to take swift action to ensure that we were able to keep as many people in jobs as possible, to keep as many small businesses and tradies in consistent work uh, as possible, uh, so that when we were able to come out of the pandemic, we'd be able to come out stronger than before. So that when the federal government's JobKeeper program, for example, was going to come to a conclusion, as surely it was going to, uh, we would be able to come out uh, with significant jobs still in our economy and potentially, as has turned out to be the case here in South Australia and almost nowhere else in the world, even more jobs than before. And one of the programs that the government put into place uh, was investment, uh, in, I think we called them COVID stimulus grants, uh, in preschool and school maintenance programs. These were investments initially of $20,000 to every public preschool in South Australia, uh, and then subsequently uh, in the budget in uh, the second half of last year, a further $30,000 to every public preschool in South Australia, alongside a grant of $20,000 to $100,000 depending on the circumstances, to every public school in South Australia. Uh, projects that were entirely up to the discretion of the site leader, but usually in consultation uh, with, uh, in addition to the facilities manager, the governing councils of the site. Uh, and across South Australia, we are seeing uh, throughout this year, many of those projects now completed, many more currently underway. Uh, and the member for Flinders may be interested to know some of the particular examples of work that's been underway. Because, of course, while this program was a jobs program that has kept people in work, has kept small businesses, suppliers, uh, tradies and local workers in jobs, it's also provided the opportunity uh, for a unique opportunity to lift the facilities in our public education across the state. So the sorts of things that might be going on in the member for Flinders Electric, for example, in Streaky Bay, the Children's Centre uh, is creating a new playground and nature play area. Uh, the Kuniba Aboriginal School uh, is upgrading their kitchen. They're also installing, uh, installing a new island bench with a gate in the kitchen area uh, of the children's centre and an art sink. Uh, in uh, the uh, Port Lincoln Children's Centre, uh, we've got landscaping, upgrading to the parking area for staff, flooring to be polished. Uh, across South Australia, there's a big variety of, indeed, tasks underway. Uh, about 30 per cent of sites are reporting they're undertaking painting projects. About 27 per cent of sites have undertaken landscaping as part of their work. Uh, new native play spaces, new playgrounds to encourage stimulating uh, and creative and exploratory play. Uh, is going on at, indeed, hundreds of sites across South Australia. There are sites that are using this money to install new air conditioners, sites that are using this money to install new interior or exterior blinds, enhanced decking, fencing, uh, indeed, new staging areas. Uh, whatever the sites have needed, these are the sorts of jobs that the sites have wanted that will enhance the learning and the well-being of the students at these sites, but weren't necessarily at the level uh, where they had to be done. So this is a great program the Marshall Liberal Government has delivered. It's been providing jobs, it's contributed to our economic recovery coming out of the pandemics, and it is giving our children, our next generation, uh, a contribution towards the world-class education facilities that they deserve, and the Marshall Liberal Government is delivering for them. Yeah, yeah.